argument and a high stakes wager. If it wasn't a true story, you'd throw it away because it's fictional. It's, it, it's beyond fiction. It was 1956 and the Bing Crosby Clambake Celebrity Pro-Am Golf Tournament was set to tee off at Pebble Beach. The biggest stars and the world's best golfers were all there. But the night before the scheduled practice rounds, two big shots in the world of golf decided to make a wager. One of those big shots was Eddie Lowry, a wealthy car dealer and avid supporter of amateur golf. He made a bet with fellow millionaire George Coleman. Lowry claimed that two of his employees, amateur golfers Harvey Ward and Ken Venturi, could not be beaten in a best ball match. Lowry challenged Coleman to bring any two golfers of his choice to the course at 10 a.m. the next day to settle the issue. Coleman did accept his challenge and he showed up with his own power team that included Ben Hogan and Byron Nelson, the game's greatest living professionals with 14 major championships between the two of them. They never played practice rounds together. They never played together. That may be the only time that they played together rather than being paired in a tournament that that they would play. We wanted to play them, not out to, to, to beat them, just out of respect of this, let's have a nice day and we'll just because we may never play golf with them again. The match will be played that day at the famed course on a Northern California peninsula called Cypress Point. Cypress Point was built in 1928 and is legendary for its topography. That includes sand dunes, a forest, and breathtaking holes that run along its rocky seaside location. You got unique holes there. You got holes like, like uh, uh, eight and nine, and you know, and then you look at 15, 16, and 17. Were simple. God made those. And Tory gets into the ball smoothly, and he's hit a good shot. The foursome teed off an hour before Ben Hogan's previously scheduled tee time at Pebble Beach Golf Course, where a large gallery was already gathering. The entire group consisted of the four players involved, the two millionaires whose money was on the line, and Bing Crosby, host of the week's events. There was no cameras there, no film or TV crews. Only Ken Venturi's scorecard survives as proof of the day. Between Larry and Coleman, uh, uh, they were uh, uh, they were betting some big money, and because uh, uh, Larry was betting on us, and of course Coleman was betting on the pros, and everybody had their bet. So no, no one, no one uh, knew about the match. The match started as a small group that day, but as the round wore on, the gallery grew and grew, and by the final holes. There was believed to be several hundred, possibly as many as a thousand spectators. The amateurs matched the pros shot for shot that day. And even though Ken Venturi won't tell us how it ended, he does say, if it wasn't true, you wouldn't believe it. You know, it's like saying, well, tell us about the match. I, I class it as, as uh, uh, giving you the ending to a Hitchcock movie. You can't. You can't give the ending because, you know, you can't do it. You'll have to read the book to find out how it ends, but the memories for the lone survivor of that day in 1956 says his greatest memory of that epic round of golf was a moment he shared with the great Ben Hogan right after the match. After the match, Hogan gave me a big hug and gave him a kiss on the cheek. and He said, I love you, Ken. I'll never forget it. I want to thank uh, Ken Venturi, too, for inviting me 